In this video, we'll do a walkthrough of the Speech Assistant AAC application. Text-to-speech is a form of speech synthesis used to create a spoken version of the text in an electronic format or platform. At the time of this video, the Speech Assistant AAC app is available on the App Store for $14.99 and available on the Google Play Store for free with in-app purchases. Depending on how you hold your device, the app will either appear in the landscape view or in the portrait view. At the top of the page is our message window where all of our text will appear. Outlined in red are the pre-populated phrases and words which can be customized by the communicator. On the lower right side are the pre-populated categories which can be customized by the communicator. It's important to note that the phrases and words on the home screen correspond with the category that has been selected. Right now, the phrases and words on the screen correspond to the words category. When I select the family category, the words and phrases associated with that category populate the screen. The action icons can be located in the top right corner. The red X clears any content in the message window. The blue X deletes one word at a time in the message window. The plus icon allows you to save a new phrase, save the current phrase in the message window, or save a new category. These options will be demonstrated later in this video. The volume icon reads aloud the content in the message window using a synthetic voice. The four corner icon enlarges the message window. The left arrow will bring you back to the home screen. The gear icon opens up the app's settings. To access the rest of the action buttons, use your finger and scroll up to see more options. The pencil icon allows you to edit a phrase on the home page when it is selected. The share button, outlined in red, allows you to share the content in the message window in a number of different ways. The keyboard icon summons the built-in touchscreen keyboard. The bell icon plays a short tune to alert the communication partner. The icon with an A and an arrow opens up a second message window for the communication partner. The top window is for the communication partner so they can easily read the text. The bottom message window is for the communicator. The user icon allows you to switch between different user profiles, which each have their own customized phrases, categories, and settings. The box with two arrows allows you to rearrange the phrases on the home page. Here are the topics we'll cover in today's video. The first, how to use the message window. The second, how to edit phrases and categories. Third, navigating the app's settings. And fourth, additional resources. We will now review how to use the message window. There are three ways to interact with the message window. The first is using a combination of the phrases and categories customized by the communicator. For example, I'll go to the at home category and then select the I'm in and the kitchen phrases to complete a message. Another way to interact with the message window is to use the built-in on-screen keyboard, as seen in this clip. The third way to interact with the message window is to combine the use of the built-in on-screen keyboard and the preset phrases and categories. Here, I use the preset message goodnight and use the keyboard to complete the remainder of the message. Now we'll discuss how to edit phrases and categories. Here are the three ways to edit phrases and categories. The first is by pressing and holding a phrase or category icon. Here, I'm pressing and holding on the I live icon in the top right corner. The editing page provides you with a few options. To edit the phrase's text, either use your finger or cursor to tap on the text box. From there, use the keyboard to edit the phrase's text. And when you're done, click save in the bottom right corner. You can see the phrase matches the changes we made in the editing page. Currently, the phrase is assigned to the common phrase category. We can change this by scrolling through the categories and signing it to a new category, such as at home. We'll then click save. Since we reassign the phrase's category, we can select the at home category and can verify that our phrase has been properly transferred. Currently, the I live in Waltham phrase is located in the top right corner. To change its position, either use your cursor or finger to scroll through the different position options. Once you have chosen a desired location, click Save in the bottom right corner. We can see the phrase has transferred to the location which we selected in the Edit page. You can adjust the phrase's icon color by selecting the Paint Palette icon and then choosing a color from the grid. Once you click Save in the bottom right corner, you'll see that the icon color has now changed. 
You can attach a photo to the phrase by selecting the photo icon and then choosing the import method. The specifics will not be covered in this video. You can also record the phrase using your own voice by selecting the microphone icon. To begin recording, select the red circle and then recite the phrase. I live in Waltham. When you're finished, select the black square and then press OK in the bottom right corner. Then click Save in the bottom right corner. Now, when you select the phrase, it will play your voice recording. I live in Waltham. To edit a category, press and hold until the editing page appears. The process for editing a category is the same as editing phrases as previously shown in the video. The second way to edit phrases and categories is by clicking on the gear icon. From here, you'll want to go to the Phrases and Categories tab. We'll then select the Categories bar at the top of the page. From here, we'll go to the Edit button on the top right. Selecting the pencil icon brings up the editing page previously discussed in the video. To rearrange the order of the categories, press and drag on the three bar icon to the right of the pencil. When you've finished rearranging the categories, press Save. To edit a category's phrases, click on the desired category. To begin editing, click on the edit button in the top right. Clicking on the pencil icon brings up the editing menu previously discussed in the video. Rearranging the order of the phrases follows the same process as rearranging categories as previously shown in the video. To add a new phrase to the category, select the plus icon in the top right corner. The editing menu that has previously been reviewed will appear. When you're finished, press add. To create a new category, press the plus icon in the top right corner. The editing menu previously reviewed in the video will appear. When you finish customizing your new category, press add in the bottom right corner. The third way to edit a category's phrases is to scroll down on the action icon menu and select the box with two inverse arrows. Here, you can use your cursor or finger to drag and rearrange the phrases into their desired locations. Once you have finished reordering the phrases, you can select the blue box. We'll now go through the different settings of the Speech Assistant app. To access the app's settings, select the gear icon in the Action Item menu, and the Settings menu will pop up. We'll then click on General Settings. The settings on this page are directly correlated with the functioning of the app, such as keyboard settings, undo options, retrieving cleared phrases, direct touch options, as well as a user manual. To access the layout and colors settings, we will go to the gear icon on the home page and then select layout and colors. Here, we'll find all the settings that correlate with the app's layout and colors, such as the phrase and category, button width, height, fonts, size, and style, as well as the app's color scheme and other visual aspects. To access the speech and sound settings, we'll click on the gear icon and then select speech and sound. Here, we'll find all the settings that relate to the app's speech and sound, such as the speech voices and language used, pronunciations, pauses between words, speech rate, phrase recordings, and other speech and sound options. To access the backup and restore settings, we'll go to the gear icon and then select backup and restore. Here, there are different options to backup categories and phrases, one's recordings, and also share categories, phrases, and recordings using AirDrop. Backing up means saving a copy of one's recordings, phrases, settings to another device or their iCloud account. Restoring means downloading a copy of one's last saved phrases, categories, and settings in case they lose their data, or they're setting up the application on a new device. Here are some additional resources you can check out provided by our Boston Children's Hospital ALS Augmentative Communication Program.